Hello everyone. Today we are going to create the Adamski effect using Affinity Photo. Let's get started. First, open the image in Affinity Photo. If you want to follow along, you can get this image from the link in the description. For my convenience, I will rename this layer to Original. Create a duplicate of the original layer by pressing Ctrl plus J. Rename this duplicate layer as Copy and hide the original layer. Then choose the selection brush and carefully select the subject in the image. After selection, click on Refine and refine the hair and edges of the subject. After refining in the Refine tab, change the output from Selection to New Layer with Mask and click Apply. You will get a new layer with the subject masked. You can further fine-tune your selection using this layer mask and brush tool. With the mask selected, draw with a black brush to remove and a white brush to restore. I will name this Layer Subject. Next, unhide the Copy Layer. With the Copy Layer selected, click on Live Filters and choose the Motion Blur Filter. In the Filter tab, change the Blur Radius to around 350 pixels. We have a little problem. Since the subject is on the Copy Layer, it also got blurred, creating a weird mirage-like halo around the subject. Let's fix this. First, remove the motion blur for now. Then, select the copy layer. Holding the control key, click on the subject layer to get back the subject selection. Then, hide the subject layer. Go to Select and click on Grow Slash Shrink. In the tab, add 10 pixels and click OK. Then go to Edit and click on In Paint. Our subject is now gone from the copy layer. Next, press Ctrl plus D to deselect. I will use the healing brush to fix some odd areas left after in painting. Holding the Alt key, click on an area to get a sample then paint over the weird parts. Make sure to decrease the hardness to zero for smooth painting. Now, we can apply the motion blur to the copy layer. Be sure to check Preserve Alpha to get rid of white edges. Then close the Motion Blur tab. The subject looks like it's floating in the background. Let's fix that. We can fix this in two ways. By adding Motion Blur to the lower part of the subject, or by removing some blur near the bottom of the subject in the background. I will use the second method. First, create an empty mask. Then drag and drop it above the Live Motion Blur layer. Now, select the empty mask layer and choose the brush tool. Make the brush size almost the same as the bottom part of the subject. Decrease the flow to 25% and hardness to 0%. Click once near the bottom of the subject with a black brush to remove the motion blur. Now, make the brush size smaller and remove more blur near the bottom part of the subject. Since we're using a mask, 
we can bring back the blur by painting with white if we remove something accidentally. Now the subject no longer looks like it's floating. Finally, let's add some layer adjustments to enhance our image. First, I will add a levels adjustment and increase the black level to around 13 to 15% and slightly increase the gamma value. Then close the levels adjustment tab. Next, I will add a curves adjustment. I'll adjust the curve to make the highlights a little brighter and the shadows a little darker. Then close the Curves Adjustment tab. This is the image before layer adjustment, and this is after. And that's how you create the Adamski effect using Affinity Photo. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more tutorials. See you in the next one.